I'm making this because I couldn't find the answer myself online. Everyone thinks the problem you're trying to solve is the pitch when you retime something in Adobe Premiere, and that's not the problem I had. Pitch is fairly easy to fix. The trick for that is to not use this checkbox. The maintain audio pitch, do not use this. This does not have a good result. What you wanna do is do it manually by creating a pitch shifter here, double click it, then adjusting these so your voice sounds normal. This gets you a better result for adjusting pitch for speed change in the video. The problem was this kind of distortion. See, and now I live in London. I've basically been paid to move to all these places and have a job. Now you don't have so you can, in that you can hear kind of an up and down, a weird kind of like underwater feeling distortion that I wanted to get rid of in Adobe Premiere. The bad news is I couldn't find a way to do it in Adobe Premiere. The good news is you can do it with Adobe Audition. That's the trick. If you know how to use Adobe Audition, you can stop watching this and go use Adobe Audition. If you want to learn how to use Adobe Audition very quickly, uh, keep watching and we are going to retime the audio from Adobe Premiere. So the first thing you need to do is export only the audio at 100%. And we're gonna take that 100% speed audio into Adobe Audition and let's get started. So inside Adobe Audition, I just wanna click drag the audio that we exported at the real time, 100% speed. I'm gonna drag and drop it right here. And we wanna jump over to the multi-track setting. And as we click it, it'll ask us, basically a multi-track is gonna be like a sequences in Premiere. And then we can just say, yeah, save it wherever. And so now we basically have what's like a sequence in Premiere. We have a sequence or what they call a session in Adobe Audition. Then we click drag our audio onto one of the tracks, sample rate, whatever, yep change the session to match that sample rate, all that kind of good stuff. It's gonna take a while. What I'm doing it for is actually for a webinar that's about an hour, hour and a half long or so. And so it's gonna take mine a little bit longer. If you wanna watch the webinar, there's a link below in the description so that you can actually see what I was using this for. I created a uh, training, a free training that you can take about switching careers into 3D animation. That's what I do uh, full time. I work at a major visual effects studio as a senior animator. Okay, so now that we have it in here, it's processed, we need to go over to the properties panel here. It's in this section and we can drop down the stretch uh, drop down menu and then go to real time. And now we have access to what we need. <clears throat> and you basically just need to put in the number here. If you track what the number, the time code was at the end of your Adobe Premiere sequence, you basically just insert this number here. Now the one little asterisk is it doesn't correlate one to one because that those last numbers where here we have a decimal and in Adobe Premiere, there's a colon, which means uh, you know it's going at a frame rate as opposed to a decimal place, which would be a value from 0.0 to 0.9. And in Adobe Premiere, you're gonna have, depending on your frame rate, you know, 24 frames a second, 25 frames a second. That's why the last one, the last group of numbers in Adobe Premiere are gonna range from, you know, zero to 24, 25, 30, whatever your frame rate is. And you can kind of have to convert that to get that last number here. So once you type that in, uh, you can just type in a new number here. It's gonna retime it and it's gonna work. It's gonna fix the pitch and it's gonna fix fix that distortion. Now all you, all you have to do is go right click, export mix down, entire session, and you save out however you wanna save it. It is an MP3, whatever. You can bring this back into Premiere, line it up, and it should work perfect. Thanks for watching. If you like this tutorial, check out the channel, like, comment, subscribe, all that kind of good stuff. I'll see you next time.